All right, let's get to a little more baseball talk, if you don't mind. A pair of moves in the National League Central. Avisail Garcia is off to Milwaukee for the next two years and 20 mil, plus a club option that could take it to 30. Uh, 20 homers, OPS of almost 800 last year in Tampa. And the Cincinnati Reds would like to welcome back Wade Miley to the National League Central. He spent part of 2018 with the Milwaukee Brewers. Last year in Houston was really good the first four months, and then the last two was not as good. But he gets reunited with pitching coach Derek Johnson, who with Miley in Milwaukee in 2018 had a 2.57 ERA and 16 starts. So do the Reds sneakily have the best rotation in the NL Central case? Wow, I think so. And I don't think people know about it. I mean, Castillo is one of the best pitchers in the game. With a filthy mm -hmm. changeup, he's only getting better. Sonny Gray had a great year last year. They bring in Wade Miley. Trevor Bauer, they got that trade at the deadline last year. I mean, he's going to have a great year. I mean, he's got great stuff. Um, these Scalfini, he's got good stuff, too. I mean, this is a really nice rotation. You still look at the, the Cubs still have a good rotation. Cardinals are still right there. But I'll tell you what, man, when I look at Cincinnati's rotation, I'd have to think right now, going into 2020, they probably have the best rotation in that central division. Yes, in the, in the middle of December, I don't think there's a question about it. Now, the best pitcher in the division is Jack Flaherty, and that's far right. away he's the best, in yeah. my opinion. Um, but when you're looking at depth, one through five, each of those guys gives you a chance to win a game every night, and even in a, in a hitter's ballpark like, like there in Cincinnati. Uh, I think it's really all on Trevor Bauer because in 2018, he was one of the probably five best pitchers in baseball. Last year, he lost his way, got traded midseason. He ends up now in a contract year. He's always said, I'm going to sign a bunch of one-year deals from here on out, so I'm not going to feel the pressure of going into, you know, the last year of my contract anyway. But I want to see what he's bringing to the party now, that he's kind of settled yeah. and there's not the trade rumors around him. But, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, bigger picture right now. The Brewers have made some interesting moves in the offseason. They've lost some star power off that team. The Reds have gained some, not only in the rotation, but they signed Mike Moustakis. Which team do you like better between Milwaukee and Cincinnati? Wow. I mean, the lineups match up really well. I mean, they really do. I think, you know, top mm -hmm. to bottom, you know, they, they really do. But I, I tell you what, I think Moose switching teams. Moustakis was with the Brewers. Now he switches over to the mm -hmm. Reds. I think his presence... In the middle of that lineup, he's going to love hitting out there in Cincinnati, although Milwaukee's a great place to hit, too. But, you know, he's going to hit 30-plus home runs, drive in close to 100 runs. Uh, I think Moose kind of sways that team. I think the Reds are going to be a, be a real nice surprise and play some good baseball in 2020. They might have the edge against the Brewers going into this season. I think so for two reasons. Number one, I think the rotation is monumentally better. Uh, outside of Woodruff, who can I really count on in Milwaukee's rotation? Um, you know, there's a couple of guys out there that, that could fit the bill, but I'm not so sure about them all. And also the catching situation. Losing Osmani Grandal, not so much because of his offense. Uh, Omar Navarez came over in a deal from Seattle. His numbers are comparable. They're not exactly the same as Grandal's, but comparable. The problem is he's metrically one of the worst defensive catchers out there. That always scares me. I want a guy behind the dish and at shortstop who can still play defense. I know we're in love with all the numbers and everything else. I want guys that can pitch frame, call a good game, throw out runners, and play some defense. Yeah. That would terrify me a little bit if I'm a Milwaukee fan. I agree. I like, yeah, yeah, like, losing Grundahl is a big hit, no doubt about it.